Shop Lowe's for Memorial Day savings, 40% off appliance, special values, 35% off best brands in the business. Offer valid through 6-6. See store for details, U.S. only for Lowe's. Good to have you in. So, uh, like tonight, let's be honest about dynasties. They're great for TV ratings because they're, they're villains, right? One city loves them. Everybody else hates them. So the Golden State Warriors are great. Dynasties are great. New England Patriots are great for the NFL. Okay, they are. Duke basketball, Yankees, they're great. There seems like an unfair advantage. They're cheating. There's too much money. Kevin Durant, I mean, we always blame something. For the Yankees, they got too much money. And this dynasty, well, I mean, Kevin Durant already joined a great team. And in the NFL, the Patriots are a bunch of cheaters. Yeah, that's just jealousy. Like, we, know, we watch dynasties because we watch them to be great or we watch them mostly to lose. And I've always had a theory on dynasties. They always end in the NBA sooner than we think. The big three in Boston, one title. Shaq and Kobe could have won 10. Three, sayonara. Miami, Wade, and LeBron, four years. Forget four titles, four years, two titles, out. Golden State now, biggest game of the season tonight. Golden State loses, they're losing this series. Okay, they're losing this series if they lose tonight. Now, there's two ways to see this series. Jason Whitlock sees it this way. I don't think anything happened last night other than Andre Iguodala didn't play. They didn't have their Hampton Fives lineup. They were a little bit off, and they lost the game. Wake me up the next time Kevin Durant plays that bad in the fourth quarter in these playoffs. Okay, you can make that argument, or I'm going to make my argument. It's 2-2. It's 2-2. Two -two. That, that means Houston's already beaten you twice, and they just beat you at Oracle. And according to a story this morning, Andre Iguodala's not going to play, and Clay Thompson is questionable. On the road, lost four of seven. Folks, say it out loud. Game five, on the road, good team. You're struggling to beat, and now you've got more injuries than you had in the previous game. And remember what Steve Kerr said after the last loss. Remember what Steve Kerr said right here. You know, we made that great push in the third, and, and, uh, but we weren't really able to, uh, to make uh, many subs. We were going well, so we didn't want to disrupt our, our rhythms. But um, I felt like in the fourth quarter, you know, we just ran out of gas. We scored 12 points. Um, tried to buy a little bit of rest um, for, uh, for our guys, but... Um, yeah, they, they just outplayed us in the fourth, and they earned it. Okay, we were out of gas. Do you consider one day off and flying to Houston a spa, a vacation? One day off and flying to Houston, where they landed and got off the plane and went to shoot around. And now they've got another injury with Clay Thompson. Injuries and egos... And dynasties. Clay Thompson hurt. Iguadala hurt. Steph Curry not 100%. For the first time since Kevin Durant came to this franchise, this is a legitimate crisis. We're a multi star team at home. This is not game one or two. Whoever wins game five in a series, go look at the numbers, usually wins the series. Here we go. Game five on road. Team you've lost four of seven to. They've already beat you at Oracle. You've got multiple injuries. You were gassed. You got one day off. You had to get in a plane. Shoot around right off the plane. Golden State loses tonight. Good luck winning this series. This is, this is a real crisis we have in the NBA tonight. When Kevin Durant went over there, and this is generally the way it works. First couple of years, the star joins the team, LeBron and Wade. It looks really easy. It's going to last forever. Boston's big three, first year, one title. <laughs> LeBron, Wade, second year, one title. Set a record. Most straight wins. And all of a sudden, Kevin Durant, 16-1 in the playoffs. Sweep everybody. Look easy. Injuries piling up. Doubt against a really good team. Biggest game in the NBA season tonight. Veteran newsman John Goulet. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herdline News.
Colin, yesterday we spoke about Ezekiel Elliott's ranking in the top 100 players that the NFL Network puts out. Puts out. Uh, now, going into last season, he was the seventh-ranked player, yeah. uh, but he was suspended six games, so he was ranked 54th on that list. Uh, Zeke made it clear, though, when asked about it yesterday, he's still the same guy, and everybody knows it. I mean, it is what it is. I missed six games, so, you know. Any motivation? Uh, I mean, I think... I know the player I am. You guys know the player I am. Everyone in the league knows the player I am. So, I mean, I don't really need verification from a top 100 list. Will yeah, that we, number be a little different this time next year? Uh, it should be. By the way, we know the player you are. We also know the guy you are, which is immature, which is why you were out six games last year. It's, I've never doubted the player. I doubt the guy. Yeah. that's. I mean, I, I, a mature response to it. He could have gotten all upset about it. I think it's motivation for him. But, I mean, how far... How important is he really going to be, though? Well, listen, Dallas is running the ball 40, what, 8% of the time. It leads the NFL. Dallas yeah. wants to run the football. Todd Gurley is the second-best running back in this league, and the Rams, great tight ends, great wide receivers, good O-line, good accurate quarterback, really, really aggressive head coach. They just added Brandon Cooks. So Ezekiel is going to get more carries and more opportunities. The entire kind of belief system for the Cowboys is run the football. The belief system for the Rams is, let's keep people guessing. They just added a vertical wide receiver after letting go of Sammy Watkins. The Rams want to constantly pressure you. The Cowboys want to grind you down. So those two different belief systems, Ezekiel's going to have the most yards in the league this year if he's healthy. He was 10th last year, and he only played in 10 games, yeah. and he did lead the league in yards per game. Yeah, he, he missed 40% of the season and still tough. had huge numbers. Uh, moving on, we're into OTAs in the NFL, and Andrew Luck has been at OTAs for the Colts. He's been working out and practicing, but he hasn't thrown a football. Uh, I'm not sure what a quarterback practices without throwing a football. His handoffs are going to be just especially crisp this year. Uh, but still, his head coach, Frank Reich, says he is not worried about it. No, I'm not worried at all. You know, right now we're just continuing to stay in the same mode. Can't can't cut things short there's no reason to cut things short it's a day-by-day -day process um, and evaluation and just staying trusting in that yeah I'm completely comfortable with him throwing when when he's ready when the doctor says ready um, you know I've been around a long enough time especially as you know he's been around the league a little bit he's totally engaged in, in every aspect of what we're doing mentally um, the physical part for a guy like him I think comes you know, you got to work at it, but I'm not worried about that. I'm comfortable with, with the process that's in place. By the way, there's two teams in the NFL that have a chance to double their win totals. Uh, as much as I like San Francisco, they had five wins. I'm not sure if they can get to ten in the NFC. I think they can get to eight or nine. How many games last year did the Colts win? Are people nuts on this? It's the safest over-under bet in the NFL. Vegas has them at like six wins. The other side to that would be their quarterback hasn't thrown a football in 18 months and still is not capable of that. But like riding a bike, you don't forget how to throw no, a no, football. No, no, no. I mean, at, certain, at what point are you going to be worried that he is not healthy? Well, by October, if he hasn't thrown a football, I'm out <laughs> on Andrew Luck. But, I mean, we see Carson Wentz's injury. But guys bounce back. I saw a picture of Andrew Luck last week. He is ripped. He's bigger and stronger than ever. You don't forget how to throw it. And this roster in Indianapolis now is absolutely better than the last full healthy season he had when he was 11 and 5. This is a, and I don't think the AFC's any better. I think the Colts roster, actually their offensive line right now is okay. Yeah. It's middle of the pack and getting better. It's Four. not, it's not a terrible offensive line anymore with their draft. 4 and 12 last year, by the way. And Four finally, and yes, they're going to go, they're going to go 8 or 9 sure. wins. Absolutely. According to reports, Aaron Rodgers' next contract. Uh, he could be receiving up to $110 million in guaranteed money. Yeah. Right now, Matt Ryan is the highest paid quarterback at $30 million a year. Rodgers, clearly better than Matt Ryan, will exceed that. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Remember, Kirk Cousins got a three-year $84 million guaranteed contract. I would argue, obviously, Rodgers is the one of anyone deserves the biggest contract yeah. ever. It's him, but... Considering what Tom Brady does to help his team, do you think Rodgers just wants the biggest deal he can get? Or do you think he's going to realize, I need some more help around me. Maybe that's not the smartest idea. Well, listen, I, I will never begrudge Aaron Rodgers for taking every penny he no. can take. I'm sorry, we're in a league where Kirk Cousins is making 30 large. 
Aaron Rodgers has carried this franchise for seven years in bad defenses. Aaron Rodgers should take every penny. And they're the, the Browns without yeah, him. Yeah, Tom Brady's had a great coach. He's had great defenses. He's had a great owner. He's had a great support system. Listen, man, Green Bay just cleaned through front office out. Indianapolis cleaned their front office out. For guys like Andrew Luck and Aaron Rodgers, they've done way more good than the people around them have, so Aaron Rodgers can make every stinking dollar he's earned. Veteran newsman John Goulet. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The Herd Lie News. You know, I was thinking about this this morning, about, um, like, last night. You know, I, I kept saying this. When the Cavs play, my, my question is always, I know LeBron's great. Tell me who you can guarantee is going to be great beyond LeBron. The Magic Johnson, I was looking at this this morning. LeBron outscored the other four Cavs last night. The other four starters had 24 points. That's not a halftime stat. That's all they had. I mean, so I guess I guess my point is Magic had Kareem and Worthy and Byron Scott and A.C. Green and, and Michael Jordan had Pippen and Kukoc and Rodman gave 18 boards. Here's what the Cavs starters did not name LeBron last night. <laughs> Tristan Thompson had a point. George Hill, seven. J.R. Smith, two. They shot 29% from the floor. And with that, via the Coward Global Satellite Network, Chris Broussard. Listen, man, 